either racism, white supremacy exists or does not exist. See, it's not something that's a figment of Dr. Welsing's imagination. Mm -hmm. Now, if people look around them, and, you know, this is something that so-called younger generation of black people, if they feel they have white friends, ask their white friends, what do you all talk about when there's no black people around? What do your parents talk about when there's no black people around? Are you aware that white people have an easier time getting jobs, getting a sufficient salary, getting loans, whether it's for a house or a car? Do white people, uh, how many white people that are your friends want to change places with black people? because black people don't really have any special problems. See, so if, if instead of, oh, that's something that older black people talk about, but it really doesn't exist. See, it means that, you know, people are simply not even aware. They don't do much reading because mm -hmm. it's all kind of research and all kind of studies documenting the hard time that black college graduates have getting jobs compared to whites today, 2014, 2015. So if black people want to pretend that nothing, there, there's no such thing as racism, I think that their white friends and colleagues, they don't want to change places with a black person. Why? See, in other words, again, either racism, white supremacy exists or it doesn't exist. Either President Obama receives more death threats than any other president in history. Either President Obama is disrespected more than anybody else. Either Miss Obama is disrespected. Either these are realities, or do you see if, if younger black people ask their parents, are you treated the same way as people who classify themselves as white on jobs? When you go to get a loan, are you treated in the same way? Do you see, so the question would be, why is it that, you know, maybe younger black people don't want to look at reality. 